Welcome to another Ziva math video. In this video, we're going to practice subtracting integers. And let's start by talking about the steps. Step number one to subtracting integers is to keep the first number exactly the same. Number two, we'll change the subtraction sign to addition. Number three, we change the sign of the number after the subtraction sign. Number four, we will follow the steps for adding integers. Your teacher may have referred to these steps as keep, change, change. Before we get started, we do need to be able to add integers accurately to solve our subtraction problems, so be sure you're comfortable with those addition steps. If you need to review adding integers, look at the links in the description below for our adding integer videos. So make sure you have your paper and pencil ready, and let's look at our first example. For our first example, we have 7 minus 12. So we're going to follow those steps that we set out. And we're going to look at that first number, which is a positive 7, and it's going to stay exactly how it is, a positive 7. Then that subtraction sign, we're changing to addition. Then we're looking at this positive 12, and our step was to change the sign of our second number. So the positive 12 becomes a negative 12. And here you may want to put parentheses around this negative 12 so you can see exactly what you've got. So now we have an addition problem. We're adding integers with two different signs. So we're going to follow our addition rules. So we're going to look at the 7, and we're going to need to take the absolute value of the 7, which is 7. And then we're going to take the absolute value of the negative 12, which is 12. And we're adding integers with different signs. So we're going to subtract our absolute values. So 12 minus 7 equals 5. And we need to look at the sign for our answer. So we're going back to the absolute value, the one that has the largest absolute value, which was our negative 12. So not 5, but we'll have negative 5 because we take the sign from the number with the largest absolute value. So 7 minus 12 is negative 5. Our next example is negative 6 minus a negative 10, and we're going to work through all of those steps again. So we're going to start with the negative 6. That first number we leave exactly how it is, so negative 6 stays negative 6. Then we have the subtraction sign. Our subtraction sign we change to addition, and then our negative 10, that's our second number, we change the sign, so negative 10 is going to become positive 10. So that was our keep, change, change, if that's what your teacher uses. And then we have an addition problem. We're adding integers with different signs, so we have to follow the integer rules, which are to take the absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of 10 is 10. And when we add integers with different signs, we subtract those absolute values. So 10 minus 6 is 4. And we have to go back to the number with the largest absolute value, which in this case is our 10, to get the sign of our answer. So our answer here, because that 10 was positive, our answer is going to be positive. So negative 6 minus a negative 10 is positive 4. For our next problem, we have 10 minus 2, and normally I would tell you if you get a problem that looks exactly like something you've been solving for years to go ahead and just solve it, but let's walk through this problem using our subtracting integer rules. So those rules were to look at the first number and keep it exactly how it is, so the positive 10 remains a 10. We're changing the subtraction sign to addition, and we change the sign of the second number, so the positive 2 becomes a negative 2. And this is one of those places where you may want to add the parentheses in your problem so that you can see that you're adding a negative. Now we're adding integers with different signs, and we're going to follow those rules. So we're looking at our absolute values, so the absolute value of 10 is 10. Our absolute value of negative 2 is 2, and our steps for adding integers with different signs are to subtract them. So 10 minus 2 is 8, and again we want to make sure we have the correct signs looking at the number with the largest absolute value, the 10, so we need to have a positive 8 for our answer. So 10 minus 2 is positive 8.
10 minus 2 is the problem we just did, and one of the things we said is if it looks like something you've been doing for years, you should go ahead and just solve it. So we said you know that 10 minus 2 is 8, you can do 11 minus 6 equals 5, and you can do 8 minus 6, you know it's 2. So don't worry about using the steps for these, go ahead and just solve them. For the next example, we have 8 minus a negative 5, and we're going to run through those subtraction steps. So our positive 8, that first number stays exactly how it is, a positive 8. The subtraction sign, we're changing to addition. And then our negative 5, we are changing the sign, so our negative 5 becomes a positive 5. And here we have 8 plus 5, which looks like something you've been doing, so you're just going to add it. 8 plus 5 is 13. So 8 minus a negative 5 is positive 13. For our final example, we have negative 12 minus a negative 4. And we're going to work through our subtraction steps, which are to keep the sign of the first number, whatever the number is. So negative 12 stays negative 12. We're changing our subtraction sign to addition. And then for our second number, the negative 4, we're changing the sign. So negative 4 will become a positive 4. From there, we're adding integers with different signs, and we're going to follow the steps for doing that which are to look at our absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. The absolute value of 4 is 4. And then those rules are to subtract. So 12 minus 4 is 8. And then we need to go back and look at our absolute values. The sign of the number with the largest absolute value, in this case our negative 12, is going to be the sign of our answer. So negative 12 minus a negative 4 is going to equal negative 8. Thank you for joining us. Be sure you like this video and subscribe for more videos by Ziva Math.